Bad. Well, welcome back, Foss Nine audience. I'll right, take a cheers. This is your first time trying it, right? Here, yeah. cheers again. What do you think? Oh, it's good. Pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they know. I had to get a weak wine for my friend Alvaro here because no. people who know Alvaro you know that he's a lightweight. No. He doesn't can't drink much. Anyways. It's gonna be a different uh, attire today. Yeah, we, we got shirt tie. Yeah, our guest set up the tone today, so I guess I have to stay like this. Welcome back to the False Line Podcast here, at episode one thirty. Thirty episodes in. You, this is your third episode, right? Yeah, third episode. Third episode. Second episode as a a host, though, right? Mm -hmm. And third episode in, in total. In total. Yeah. Thirty episodes in. Damn, that's crazy, bro. That's thirty weeks. That's a. That's thirty weeks. There's what like good. how many weeks are in a year? Like fifty something? I don't know, man. I'm not I went to La Vega. But damn that that's kinda meaningful to me, bro, that I'm thirty weeks in now. Thirty, 30 weeks in? Thirty weeks in the podcast. Damn. Oh. And it's gonna keep going more and more and then next you're gonna say in a while from now you're gonna be like, damn, welcome back. Episode two hundred. That'd be crazy. I'm like, damn. Hopefully yeah. we'll we won't be in the same scenario yeah hopefully different we'll be different maybe get more upgraded you equipment. Ever, you ever wonder why i did like the one some like start at one like one episode 101 102 mm -hmm. why why did you i've i really thought when i first started i was like oh you probably already did 130 episodes but no nah, it's because of um there's this guy i listened to his name is scott hilsey and then joe rogan i i don't know if joe rogan started like that but i know scott this guy scott that's how he did it. he just did like episode one or 101 so, so you're a follower. Okay, nice. Yeah. No, nice. but I just didn't want to do episode one, two, or three. I wanted to sound cool. Episode one, mm -hmm. one episode one or two. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. Um, today's going to be kind of exciting. How was your day today? How was my what? How was your day today? It was good. Um, it, I mean, it's it's good. This weather kind of sucks. It's been real humid, real sticky. Um, like, I don't know. I, I think, but I mean, it's been, it was good. Did you my, have a day at work? Yeah, even though I didn't sell shit, but I had a good day at work. Um, I had some crazy news today. For real? So I went to the allergy doctor today, and they oh, poked yeah. like 75, oh, 75 like different little pricks into my arms. Mm -hmm. So you guys see here is that's the first, crazy. The first I thought you guys 50, were, I thought you were joking. And with then me. I have a test. They only they're really supposed to do like thirty, and then. 35, mm. something like that, or 45, but since I have tattoos on this hand, they can't do it on the other hand. So they did like a couple of them right here on the other hand. I really thought you were can't joking. Them a little bit. I really thought you were playing. Uh, come to find out, the doctor literally said, I'm basically allergic to the world. I'm allergic to trees, I'm allergic to grass, I'm allergic to beef, nuts. But you, um, but if you eat this stuff and nothing happens to you. Yeah, oh, stuff happens to me all the time. I'm freaking allergies are going crazy all the time. And, but you just like sneezing and stuff, you know, right? Yeah, and it's, it's fucking. It hurts me, not hurts me, but it's hard for me to sleep and oh, for throughout real? my day. Imagine, yeah. I didn't know that. And yeah. now I have to get a a shot once a week, my allergy shot, and um, for every week for f six months. After the six months, they gotta see how I'm doing on it, mm -hmm. and then once a month for six years. That's fucking crazy. It's bro. crazy, right? All yeah. those shots just because I'm finding out I'm allergic to everything. That's crazy. And you never knew you were allergic. Mm -hmm. The only reason I went to do that is because my son, went yeah. over there, we went to test him to see what he, because he had like a little rash. And oh, I was like, true. I was like, I might as well freaking test to see what yeah. I'm allergic to, allergic to. And I'm allergic to. So how they do his test? Being alive, I guess. <laughs> That's basically what I'm allergic to. Yeah. Oh, for babies, it's different. They only did like, what, go sample they only did like 10 different pricks, but it was mm -hmm. in the back. Uh -huh. On his back, since his, I guess his arms aren't like, like a human, not, not human, but freaking adult arms are i just you know? thought it was when you showed me that picture with zach i thought that was kind of weird i was like that's not true oh because zach look, yeah our last guest he had got allergy shots as well mm -hmm. and he was literally allergic to everything literally like his thing like swelled up mine swelled up too but when when they get my shot right here my whole arm was like going on another freaking arm damn it was crazy i was scared i was like man i can't even do nothing and you want to itch it so bad bro like and the guy the guy's in he's like no you know each <laughs> no each 50 was minutes Asian or it was Indian Indian he's like no each 50 minutes and then I clean I clean for you and I was like oh. okay yes sir sorry and I just mm -hmm. literally like this the whole time literally damn and like the whole time you just wanna scratch it and Ugh. itch it real bad you're making my head itchy mm -hmm. can you uh, turn that down yes sir sorry my fault won't happen again um, how how has your experience been in general since the podcast started to now Oh, has life changed at all? Is it the same? Basically, how you... I mean, really, I feel like I'm a movie star, dude. You know, like... 
Like, we're everywhere I go, I mean, people want to take pictures, get my autograph, looking at me. Now, I mean, I feel like it's just something more that's on top of my schedule. Now, now I have to, for like, put some more attention into this podcast. I mean, it's like know? today, like, as much as I, I wanted to go out and play volleyball today, too, but. Mm-hmm. That's Man, like, I usually I would have went to go yeah. like before I had my son, before I had a girlfriend, before all this. I would just want to go play basketball, go play yeah. volleyball. But now, I mean, you start to get older, you grow up, you have more responsibibility. Now I want to spend time with my family, my yeah. girlfriend, my son. You know, yeah. so it's kind of hard. But then we have this podcast now. Mm. So probably if we were to do the podcast today, then I probably would have went to go play volleyball. Yeah, but it seems like Top Golf is gonna be a thing now. On oh Tuesdays. yeah, every single Tuesday night, yeah. catches at Top Golf. Y'all want to meet us there? See, show us what you can do. Shows your strokes. What? Is that what it's called? The stroke? Yeah, I think so. Whenever you're playing golf, yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. But, um... Man, boy, we have a script now. Oh, yeah. We have a script just because... Not a script, but... Uh, our guest today that we have, he uh, is a... Um, he's a celebrity. He's a celebrity. <laughs> he is probably one of the most famous people we have, we've had on the podcast so far. Yeah. Um, it, He has, like... I don't know how many views he has on his... Um, I don't know. He averages a lot more. Than, not a lot more. But we, I probably a lot more. He, I don't know. It is crazy. Like, I don't even know this guy, but for some reason, I had followed him on Facebook. Oh, for real? Like, I had already had him as a friend on Facebook. I uh, watched his videos. I watched his podcast. And then when you told me that, hey, Andrew from, uh, what's, what's the, the public affair? The public affair. Yeah. It's gone. I said, where's that familiar from? Yeah. So I looked him up on Facebook, and there he is on Facebook. We've been yeah. friends for, for a while. But, like, that's funny. I guess when he first started, it was crazy. Either yeah. I added him or he added me, but it's. I mean, it's crazy that we yeah. know each other, but now he's going to be on the podcast, and we don't know, we don't really know him. So this is going to be a very different episode. Yeah. Because yeah, we both don't know. Him. It's going to be exciting. We don't know him at all. We don't know about his life. He's going to yeah. talk about his life, his podcast, is um, what made him start his podcast, yeah. what he's doing. Um, but uh, we'll I'd, put him in that position that he's in now. Yeah. You know, it'll be interesting. But before we get to that, um, I do want to say I was talking to you this about this. So like the last what it's been about a week or two now that i went through something difficult that a lot of people go through you know Mm. and uh i right now it's funny because it's not funny but it's been a long time since i haven't been in this position bro yeah when's the last time you were in this situation that you are right now the thing is it's just like i'll just say i'll just put it out there like you know i'm just not in a relationship anymore right and it's just so you're single yeah, but like, that's not where I'm getting. Ready to mingle? No, but it's just like when I got out when I was in high school, I was in a relationship for like a year, almost two years, and then I, like literally six to eight months after that, I got another one, three years total. Like, so you don't know how to keep relationships, basically. Y'all hear that? No, no, no not just that. <laughs> not just that, but I haven't been single for like five years, bro. Damn. Yeah, like I've been with, like I've, there was a gap where I was, mm-hmm. but. It's been like five years. That's like, I'm 23. That's since I was 18. And the way I think about it, I was like, bro, from 18 to like 23, you go through so much shit. So like, and then now I just realize like, man, like, I don't want to say like I'm lonely, but you do feel a little lonely. You get lonely. Mm-hmm. But you have more more stuff to um, kind of ease your mind off. Like you have more friends like from our job. Yeah. And now we have that top golf thing that we're going to start doing. Yeah. So like, I bet that takes some pressure off. Not pressure, but like. But, you know, you work out, probably yeah. eases some stress, but top golf because you're with friends. That's the only reason why I went. having a good time. For real? Yeah. That's... So, you, you didn't go just because I invited you? you no, because... I went because I I was invited, obviously. But I went because I was like, man, like, I need to start socializing more because mm-hmm. I didn't socialize as much because of my relationship. And it wasn't be anything against her, but it was just because of, like, it just caused more problems, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, But, like, now I catch myself, like, it's it's different. But um, I do feel a lot more like at ease with myself and my mind. My mind, my mind's a lot of calm, mm-hmm. more calm and more like open to everything. Like, oh, I can go ahead and do this, go here, go there, and just learn a little bit about myself. Why are you doing that? You know how like old people there would try to read. They're like, yeah, people have it. They're like, I never understood though. Like, you're wearing glasses. Why would you put them farther away? Huh? You know? You're like this. Mm. <laughs> In the book. <laughs> but yeah. So and and then um. I talked to a few people that like been through shit, going through shit, and it's just like, it just seems all like normal. Not normal, but it's like people go through shit like that, mm-hmm. you know? So it's just like, whatever I feel, it's okay. And for anyone out there who's going through some shit, it's okay. And also too, like, I learned too, like, if you think you deserve better, it's probably because like you do. And that's how I Damn, feel. Damn, I'm put that shit on my bio. Bitch. And I don't want to say like anything against like the person that I was with, but I just feel like 
we're not we weren't compatible and you know we just got mm-hmm. too comfortable with each other but um man but yeah. you're making this podcast sad man no nah. live it up a little bit i just want to so excited to have our guest already on me here, too he's probably gonna give me some advice anyways he probably will he, he probably, probably will he like by me just meeting him here bro his attitude is just like so like he's so social he's, bro. he's out there he's mm-hmm. social he's like he's not shy he knows what he's yeah. I feel like in his voice, I was when we were at work. Yeah. When I was like, bro, I think he's gonna be a good guest just because I've listened to his podcast already, um, and the way he talks and the way he, you know, asserts himself is just like, damn, like you I wish it. I had that, bro. You, you know. Get some claps ready for what? Nah, no, we no claps, bro. Damn. Bro, you put some yeah. claps on my phone. In a second, but I think it was kind of cool how like I was uh, fixing my tie and then um, you guys were talking to him. I think you guys were talking about some red lobster and then like some food places, mm-hmm. and I was like. <laughs> I was like, that, I was like, that's pretty cool. Like that, he's already, you know, talking, and you guys, everybody was like, kind of talking, mm-hmm. and then we were even talking. And we we're like, oh, chill, save it for the podcast, you know. Yeah. But um, I think with like that being said, I mean, I think it's time to uh, bring our guest in. You want to put some some clap, audience clap? Yeah, put some audience. Bro, let clap. me. I got ads, you know, YouTube and shit. Oh, make you pay. Ads. I feel like Zach's gonna be salty about this. Yes. I hope this video gets more views than Zach's, just because. Okay, I mean, you ready to introduce our yeah. guest in? Yeah. Okay, Andrew, if you want to come on in, brother man. Okay, come on. Um, and we're gonna close the door and put the. Yeah. You hey, gotta got step over that. I step over the table. Uh, over there, right? <laughs> do, you, do you have enough room over there? Of course I do. <laughs> there you go. Welcome, Welcome Andrew. Andrew. How are Welcome, you guys? Andrew. Thank you for nice having me. Nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you. And Alvaro's our first time meeting. First Thank time. you so much for having me on the Pulse Nine. I really appreciate it. Oh. <laughs> oh, I can smell the wine. It takes me back to my slutty. You want to uh, try it? Uh, you want to try it? I'm going to try it. Just a little sip. Yeah, but I want to try it on Alvaro's glass. I'm kidding. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good looking guy. No cap. Very you know, much. I, I've told, and I've told him this before. Yeah, I said, like, uh-huh. bro, you're a good looking dude. Not to be, don't think I'm flirting on you. But, like, you're a good looking dude, bro. Like, if you. Lost some weight because you're kind of getting fat like me. Then you'll oh my God. be attractive, bro. I want you, know? you to know that I think you're good looking, uh, fat or skinny. So but, let's do this. <laughs> thank you. But did you know, like, not, I'm not, I don't want to put you on blast. Yeah, you put me on blast. He, he lost so much weight, bro. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> thank you. I watched your video. Okay. And your profile picture when you're taped, your mouth is taped yeah. up. Is that an old picture? That's that's when I started the public affair. Yeah. That's when you started it. So, so it was in June. I'm thinking yeah. that you look just like that. And then when I first pulled up, <laughs> To my apartment today, and I seen you get out. I'm yeah. like, oh, who the hell is this? Oh, <laughs> Does you. not look like him at all. Like yeah. you lost so yeah. much weight. Bit, how, much yeah. weight how much weight have you lost? Um, oh, it's a, almost fifty pounds. I, I say you. almost, yeah, because it's, how long? it's about since September. Damn. Yeah, September. Since September, I started working out. Shout out to Soko Fit. Soko Soccer Academy on Franklin. Yeah. Uh, Dominic Gutierrez, Isaac Carrillo, they really changed my Carillo? life. London Carrillo. Yeah. That's my last name. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you might be related to them. Uh, London Carrillo, they really changed my life. Um, shout out to Joe Luna, too. He was a part of that. Um, everybody who works out there. Um, you know, I, I started working out because, you know, I reached out to, well, we met for them to do sponsorship for the public mm-hmm. affair. Mm-hmm. And then um, I had no intention of like working yeah. out. But I, that's, um, uh, you tell me. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, so I went um, for, they have open play on Friday nights. Mm-hmm. And um, I would just kind of went over there to, you know, see what was going on. I wanted to have them on the show. Mm-hmm. Um, shout out to George DeLeon Warming. He's out he's out in California playing some professional soccer. George DeLeon? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, he's yeah, so, yeah. such he a is. kind guy. And so um, I kind of went over to kind of scope things out, see what it was all about. and. Um, I'm not like this is not even on no gay shit. Like they all looked really, really good. Do you know what I, they did? Like they all looked good, like very fit. You know what I mean? I was like, damn, I want to look like that. And when I'm watching the show, when I put out the public affair, I wasn't realizing how big I was. I just always in my head was like, oh, I look like this, which is kind of a good thing, I guess. But that's yeah. not the perception. Like it's not reality. Yeah. And then um, I was like, well, I'll give it a shot. My friend Jay, he was like, yeah, come try it sometime. And um, I went there, and uh, my other friend Maro. Um, we we all just worked out together one morning and I just didn't not not go back because I was like I have to stay consistent and since September yeah I'm down about fifty pounds I feel great Damn. I can shop in, I can shop in clearance now it's, it's I really thought like, yeah, it's got to be crap it's got to be crap yeah, some no, kind of drug no, no illicit drugs for me darling I don't even drink a lot anymore yeah. now if you guys would have had me on the show I'd be like yeah, yeah. No, when well, I was you, fat, you used to be a real drinker or what I, I wouldn't say a real drinker I mean of course I used to like to have my little red wine I still do mm-hmm. but since I work out now and I'm really um really dedicated to losing a lot of the weight you know alcohol just makes you big and yeah. so I don't want to be bloated especially on camera you know what I mean yeah. I'm just, like I'm fucking starving 
right now. So, you know what I mean? But you look good, though, man. I really appreciate it, though. Thank you, guys. Whenever, it really a lot. I was yeah. in that episode when I was wearing that yellow hoodie. Mm-hmm. I was so... I looked so freaking huge. And I mentioned that, like, it looked like somebody grabbed the air pump and just, like, yeah. pumped my ass, like, so many times. I, I was so fat. You. And I was like, dude, I gotta, this gotta change. And I'm so yeah. fat. That's why he's been taking me to the gym lately. Right. We've been playing basketball, but every time we're at work, we don't do anything but do sit you, down. Do you know? And people ask me, like, what's your secret? Yeah. And there really is no secret. Because when I was big too, I used to think, oh, I wonder what's the easy way out. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. oh, do I just eat salads all day? Nah. Everybody you go fucking out. work out. Mm-hmm. You work out. I work out five days a week, every morning, mm-hmm. um, consistently. The only times I didn't get to go was I got sick for one week. And then uh, when we had that Arctic freeze, that fucking yeah. snowstorm, that yeah. everybody lost their you shit. Said we, we can curse on here, right? That's yeah, yeah, whatever you okay, want. You got to mind my, my mouth. But <laughs> yeah, I, I go consistently. There's no, I don't miss a time because yeah. you have to. And you know, the first week is hard. You're going to be sore as shit. Yeah. You know, I would walk up to the studio at Power 108 and I, I would just be like trembling, just sore and all jelly and yeah. like, oh, I'm going to die. And then now I'm just, I'm good. So yeah. I've yeah. seen, uh, well, I was going to say too, for you, I guarantee you like that you're going to lose weight over time. I used to be skinny, man. Like really? I used to be like, probably like well, man, no. but you, you both down. look great. I don't understand yeah. how much but I weigh. I was, I was you had, you I don't bet know. you cannot guess how much how I much, weigh. Okay, how much? Just, uh, just a guess. Two, are you in the twos? Yeah. Okay, let's say two forty. Two forty. Now I weigh about two sixty five. Two sixty five. Fat. <laughs> okay. How much you used to weigh? Like red lobster days. Like red lobster used to be like one eighty. Wow. Okay. One eighty. One ninety. Where are you at? Right now, I'm at one. Right under two hundred. I'm trying to be at one eighty. I please. I want to be where you are. Like, come on. I um. But you're a lot taller than me. Well, yeah, you're, so probably not, you're not fat. You're just tall. That's why you. So you're when I started the public affair in July, I was two eighty five, mm-hmm. about two ninety. I'm down to 245. two forty five. Excuse me, two forty four point seven. Let's you know. You trying to get at two hundred? Um. Well, my goal weight was two hundred and forty, mm-hmm. and then the trainers really want me to get to about two hundred. So you would look. Do you pay per month over there or what? Um. But you know they people. do have a monthly subscription. Okay, <laughs> I, I knew you were gonna say that. Like, <laughs> they have a monthly subscription, and um, it's very affordable. And I think the results are obvious. Do you know what the it. subscription is? You want to um, a quick per shout month? Out? Yes. So I believe per month we discussed it this morning. Sixty dollars a month. Mm-hmm. Um, your first week is free. Oh, nice. And uh, again, people were like, "Oh, that's expensive." And it's not a traditional gym. You yeah. don't just go. It's circuit training. Like mm-hmm. you do what everybody else mm-hmm. does. There's a portion of strength and a portion of conditioning, and it's hard. It's the hardest shit I've ever had to do. Like, oh, it's difficult. Even to this day, I'm like, oh, God, I cry. And my uh, Dominic, he goes up on my weights, and I'm, I'm crying even more, and I do die. But the results, I mean, come on. Yeah. Is my it time. like CrossFit kind of or no? Um, I don't see. I don't know what CrossFit is. I don't, I don't know. know. It's like a lot of. I know it's Soko training. Soccer Academy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like soccer. I, think I, I think I have a friend, uh, Umberto. I love Berto. Shout out to Berto. Yeah. You know Berto? Berto? You know Berto? Yeah, Berto Cruz? Yes. Yes, I love Berto. Oh my Absolutely. goodness. He's a freaking small. He always yes. tells me, when you come out work out with me, and I, and uh, I think he was there. Yeah. And me and him, we um we play pool together. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and I went to school with his girlfriend he has now. Priscilla. Yeah. yeah and we just got yeah. so close. Does she go to the gym too? Um, She does. She goes and works out. They go. They both go work out. That's how I met Berto. Yeah. So oh we, I call him Berto. His name is Berto. You haven't right? seen Berto on... <laughs> Berto snaps like I think he's put him on. Like, I put him on my twice. snap today, didn't I? Or I don't something? have him on snap. You don't have Berto on snap. Okay. I have Berto on snap. I don't have him. He's on very. Snap. He's like one of the nicest people. He I met him when I was working out at Soco, mm-hmm. and he I, he came to one of the afternoon classes that I went to, and that's how I met him. Very tall. Yeah. Like, what do you think of Berto? He's really cool. I like him a lot. No, honestly, he's like one of the nicest people I've ever met. He's really life. nice. He really is. Like, and and we actually uh, work together. And like when I asked him to do anything, is he's so easy. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, but. Yeah, I think you're going to lose weight just because, like, I think seeing yourself on camera, oh, dog. you kind of, like, hold yourself on, like, fuck, I can't oh, yeah. look I like can't that. go back. I posted um, a little, like, my episode with Chrissy from Power One Away hit a thousand views recently. Mm-hmm. And I always share it when it, because a thousand is, like, a milestone for yeah. me. Yeah. Like, it's like, oh, a thousand is a lot. People, yeah. people are like, yes, because if people watch oh, YouTube yeah. videos and they see, oh, he has a hundred million views or yeah, yeah. 2.7 million views and you but have a thousand. But we live in a town like this, that means a lot to me. Thousand, especially, I sold myself short. It hasn't even been yeah. a year. Did you so, watch the last, I'm sorry, you interrupted. Did no, you watch the last episode of the deal we made of, our, the video last week gets. I was watching it in the car, and the guy was saying he was gonna get two million views. Correct? He was gonna get a million views. Okay. But if this video, the video, not this one, the last one gets fifteen hundred views. Oh, okay. At least we get to shave his head for free. Oh, yeah. like <laughs> eyebrows. Everything. No, no eyebrows. Just my <laughs> head. I shave his eyebrows. So no way. Bad. No. 
But if, if I get a hundred views on this um, episode, you're gonna give me red lobster for free, okay? That's fine. Deal. Yeah. Shake on it. <laughs> if this one gets a hundred views, I'll buy you red lobster. This one's gonna get me five hundred views just because it ends. Yeah. 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 Well, I don't know. It will. <laughs> but my girlfriend, she still works at Red Lobster, and I used to get Red Lobster, so yeah. we're, we're pretty much get the hook up. Okay. Well, I mean, I love rolling around some fucking seafood. Like I yeah. love it. Yeah. Mm, Maybe Alvaro awesome. want to go too. I yeah. probably will. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Take my dad. Yeah, I don't know. He's single now, so. Well, I'm <laughs> and girls keep breaking his heart. I, so. know, I, I, I don't know why y'all give these bitches chances. Like I tell these dudes all the time. Like all these girls do is <laughs> nag and piss you off, and then there's you, you probably know, hear me. all of it. Oh, I hear all the stories. I hear yeah. all the stories, and then I tell them I don't understand what you're doing. Mm. And it, like uh, uh, just recently, I heard a guy fighting on the phone with his girlfriend Damn. because he was gonna get a haircut. She took issue with that. Right? Wow. I was like, you, but, uh, and he looks like a whole snack when he gets his haircut. And I was like, you can get a haircut every fucking day if you want to. You can look like that. Hell yeah. Getting jealous, she was like, "You gonna go?" Like, I don't know, what? but well, my man's not gonna fucking cheat on me because I'll fucking chop his dick yeah. off. Are you in a, Are you in a relationship? I'm not. But not. I'm too much for people. I I try. I really do. I try, and I don't know. I. I this is, I say this humbly. I think yeah. they're intimidated by me. I really do because I'm, I'm out there. You know, you are I'm, out there. I'm it? very out there. I'm I'm very driven to success. I'm very driven. To, I'm very independent. Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, like, I don't understand what they begin. Like, you can't. Anyway. Go ahead. But no, I think <laughs> never been in a relationship. I'm, I'm, I'm no. sure you have. You've never been in a no. relationship. I've never been in a serious, committed relationship. I've dated. Mm-hmm. I've dated. I've dated. I've had friends. Blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Um, but then you know, some they be acting like for. I'm much tr- like attracted to like the ones that don't be doing shit. You know what I mean? Like uh-huh. whatever. And um, they have the fucking nerve to tell me you're taking this too far. How do I bring you around my friends? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know I'm. I've got some shit going on. You know right. I'm on Power One Away. I have a podcast. I have a full time job. You don't do shit. You're disabled. How far away? Is that a radio station? It is one seven point nine. Do you are you actually like talk on the radio? I have station? a Saturday night mix show. Yeah, I, I'm really live on the air on Saturdays. What? Yeah, so, that was kind of how I like. That was the beginning of everything. But we'll get into. Did that. they ask you to be in that? Like, yeah, did so, they ask you to have your own episode? Did you say, "Hey, I want to do that"? You know? What do you mean, like? To do you, the say you, show? Own, you, have, you say you have your own thing on Saturday, right? Right. So I did. I've been on Power One Away for six years. Oh wow! And Damn. I just started the podcast in July of last year. So mm-hmm. I've been doing radio longer than I've been doing podcasts. Mm-hmm. And so part of the reason why I started in podcasts was because I, I mean, radio is like there was just nothing going there. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Just for that particular station, I still work there. I love it. I love all my people. Is that your full time job? Sure. <laughs> it's not my full time job. It's my part time job. Uh, I do have okay. a full time gig. Um, you do. I don't, yeah, I have a full time, a part time, full time, part time. Thank you. I'm very. Busy. How do you even have time for your friends? I don't have time for myself. Like I don't have time. That's, for why, that's why you did a cleaning lady. <laughs> yeah, they were making fun of me. Can the camera because I want a fucking cleaning person for the apartment. I don't want to sit there and dust. I'm tired. I want to stay at home and sleep. That's all. I that's can't even sleep. Like, can I sleep? Can I sleep five seconds, please? Yeah. Thank you. Like you know, I'm very busy, and people think that I'm not. Mm-hmm. But people, I think people are used to the old me. Where That's, all that was yeah. was work and power went away and power went away was only on the weekends. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so, but when I only, re- I do only record an episode of The Public Affair once a week. Yeah. But during the week, I'm preparing to record for that episode. Yeah. We don't go in there blind. You know what I mean? So um, That's pretty much what we do. We yeah. Really go in there blind. It's, a, it's a fucking preparation. And yeah. It's nerve wracking. And, and then you get this schedule. They, they, there's a lot to it that people yeah. don't understand. And, you know, I'm really happy that I have a really great support system with Rogue Media Network. And that really helps me out with a lot of that. So. That's good. Yeah. So. So, I don't have time for myself. It's just uh, you're like a you're like a single mom. They, they say on TV like <laughs> well, I'm a single mom. I have two jobs. Yeah, I'm still trying to go to school and I'm raising my kid and this and that. Well, that I'm sure that's a whole other entity. But <laughs> I I live by myself. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I I really I've had a guest on my show. Shout out to Brill and Brianna Stone. And they told me if if I get this wrong, he, he can punch me in the face. That one day out of the month they block. No hanging out, no friends, no phone calls, no nothing. Are they and a couple or what are they? Yeah, they're married. They, okay. have a, they have a daughter. And it's just for family time. It's just Damn. for them. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to do that once a month. I'm going to pick a day, probably Sunday, because I love Sundays for me. Mm-hmm. I'm going to turn my phone off after I order my DoorDash. Yeah. And I'm going to say, don't bother me, unless you're trying to, you know. <laughs> that sounds smart. I, I, think, I, think, I, you, I think you need it for your, men- for your mental. I do. I think because, like, it, it's so easy to get caught up in stress yeah. and overworking yourself and it's just not healthy for you and then you get bloated and, and sprinkles that's how it is now like on sunday like yeah we try to spend time and i mean she works sometimes too but you still have customers texting you like yeah. hey so so this net it'll probably it'll probably be yeah. smart i don't work outside of work you have to pay me i'm sorry no unless it's the public affair because that's fine yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah but our job our customers need us like you guys are car salesmen yeah. yeah well that's different 
Yeah, yeah. Work, yeah. They always in Sundays. They're probably, are you guys open? Can I come check out our, nah, your inventory? Yeah. Isn't that? Do not bother me, please. Are you gonna have us on your podcast one day? I, I would love to. Should. We should I would definitely love talk to about it. Podcast. We should talk about it. I would love to. Yeah. I think it'll be very exciting. I'm, I'm happy to be on the False Nine. Yeah. I really how do you? How did you hear about the False Nine? Okay. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> that's, that's the next one. But before this, why do you, you know him more than yeah, I do? How do you? But before I'm gonna ask you this first okay. before we get there. Okay. How, how do you feel about Andrew being here before? Like, right when I told you, hey, we're probably going to have Andrew on, like, what'd you think about that? I was like, what, Andrew? Like, yeah. who are you talking about? Yeah. Like, <laughs> he's, he's, said, well, he's the guy Andrew, that bitch. has the other podcast. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you talking about the public affair? Yeah. I'm like, yeah. Like, do you know him? I'm like, no, I don't know him, but I follow him on Facebook. Yeah. You know, and I've already seen your, I've seen multiple, yeah. multiple. Yeah. Actually, mm-hmm. the one where you have with Splash. I love Splash. Um, I love Splash. I actually served him one time at Red Did Lobster. Really? Um, Isn't he a but character? He was. He and was. before, he started actually, like, Blowing up yeah. and making music videos. This is when he first started. Can I he say don't remember Can me, I though. kind of interject about Splash yeah. real quick? I, I, when I announced him, he's a young kid. Mm-hmm. And there was some people. What is he, he? Um, what is he 24? He's like, yeah. Around, yeah. He's around um, our age, basically. And, I, you know, when I saw him, because I had some friends refer me to him. Mm-hmm. And that they used to all play soccer back in the Gap or mm-hmm. whatever. And I had a lot of people be like, really, Splash? Like this and that. I said, mark my words. In 10 years. Mm-hmm. in ten, Maybe 10, a little bit more time. The world will know who that kid is. Yeah. The world, and I he's want like him. The... I want him on my show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want him on my show, and um, I, and he's he's very eccentric. He knows what he wants. I think. Mm-hmm. I think, and I told him when he came after he came on the show. I said, "This is the time in your career where you need to see who's around you, building you up, or writing for you, mm-hmm. and who are the people writing on you." Yep. Mm-hmm. And I want you to watch your episode. I want you to really take account in the, because because you're gonna go somewhere. He's very talented. He's a I've very heard, have you heard rapper. of his music? Oh, I haven't. Yeah, I've heard of his music. Oh, he's, he's really so good, it's really very very talented yes. young he's kid. Good. Is he rapping? In town. Yeah. He's a rapper. He raps everything. Very, very much a socialite. But I said, you, you, if you want to be successful, you have to have the right people around you. I sent him this long message that I put it on Facebook because I really wanted to inspire yeah. him. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. I, really, I, I ain't nobody. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's just like he, I see the potential, and people were like, "Really, that kid?" And I'm like, just. Why Trust were they kind of hating on him? Because of the way, I guess, the way he, like, it's the presents, he himself, presents himself. The way yeah. he dresses, I'm guessing. Everything's for shock value. Yeah. And so, you know, he's on Instagram flexing the money and stuff like oh. that. But he's a really nice person. He's yeah. so nice. He was very humble. He was very respectful. You know what I mean? So I really enjoyed having Splash on the show. For you guys don't know, him. look up Splash. I don't know. Yeah. I don't can't remember what his actual name is. Yeah. They call him Little One. Little one, yeah, yeah. Little one. it's yeah. really good. We're gonna have good. to reach out to the Splash. Man, right? Shout out to Splash and Splash. I hope you're doing great. And then I also so. watched the. We we're getting so off topic. No, I also watched the other episode of the Waco Wins or something like that. The Waco, the Waco dudes, the Waco dudes. So that's my most recent episode right now with mm-hmm. Silas Nasita of the Waco dudes. He's a big YouTuber. Mm-hmm. His YouTube following is ridiculous. For real? And yeah. we talk- you haven't seen. You haven't yeah. heard of it? You haven't seen it? I haven't seen I, it. Like, yeah, oh yeah. Well, I was actually referred to him as well by one of my sponsors. Shout out to Winnie Trish and Marcos Coletto, who was also on the show. And and so he. Um, Silas, I, I watched an episode where they talked a lot about abstinence, which, mm. nah. And yeah. so um, we discussed on the show, and, and I really want you guys to go watch it if you haven't, um, how him and his girlfriend do not kiss. Because what? he's scared that if he kisses her, he might have sex with her. And I was like, I mean... Abstinence. Yeah. Wow. And, but, but because he talked a lot about how porn destroyed his life back in the day, like uh, there was a whole I meaning. See. But me, like, porn is not evil to me. Porn is like, educational like i'm taking notes like oh so next time i do this i'm gonna try this yeah (laughs) but do you know how he could be kind of evil though right you understand that perspective or no yes because i've had a phase through with like honestly with porn every single person in their young life or whatever the case is has gone through porn or still go through porn or whatever thing people see it differently yeah you know but i'm not even gonna lie i know you used to watch porn no i still do (laughs) i still yeah but the thing is like in a bad where where it's unhealthy for you (laughs) i could see like there's people who really become it's 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 with anything drinking um video games that's a high level tv yeah Yeah, it's like people become consumed in it and it takes over their day to day time not me it's something that i do on my free time can i watch some fucking people fucking each other i want to learn how to do that i want to know oh i can do handstands too okay cool oh Yeah, bitch. Oh, I work on a circle fit now. I can yeah, do my fucking shower yeah. rods. What's up? Yeah. Okay, bitch. Okay. Damn. And then, you know, now I gotta find another side piece, and there's the whole thing, and everything. Really mm. Anyway, go ahead. Today, <laughs> like, I've stopped the porn game just mm. because I've had a baby already, and I have a girlfriend, and like, I feel like when that happens, it kind of stops a little bit. You keep watching porn, all right? What kind of porn do you like? Yeah, what kind of porn do you like? Yeah. Oh, you honestly? Yeah. I like girls. He's already big, told me with big butts. 
Little waist, big booty. Hey, tell me watch. That's so, he watches midget porn. So, that's no. what I'm saying. So do you go in the search engine and type girls with big asses? No, 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 no. I literally <laughs> just like look through it, and yeah. if she look like she got a big booty, then you know. But no, but like look now, but now it's gotten to the point where like TikTok will like show you like oh like hottest like porn P and yeah. then a star. Yeah. And then I'll go look them up and I'll go watch it. So then, like, you know, <laughs> I'm like, okay, she bad. You know, I had an OnlyFans model on my show. I know. Shout I know. out to Isabel Garcia. Yeah. I, think, yeah. I, think, I think I seen that one. Yeah, she yeah. was very sweet. It is. Yeah, it's she, crazy. She's, she's, she's bad. Yeah. She looks Only great. Fan, yeah. She looks great. And shout out to her fucking husband, too, who be taking the pictures. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. More that's power crazy. Bitch. Yeah. Honestly, if I. That takes gut. Like, to yeah. have your girlfriend have an OnlyFans. Listen, if my woman yeah. was as fine as that, let's go, baby. Yeah. Pay, we got paid. My girlfriend's beautiful, bro. Don't get me wrong. We have to make pictures of her. Uh, See, it's maybe, different. Ma- yeah. Yes, maybe if we live somewhere where nobody knew. Let me tell y'all something right now. Can I just, I, I don't mean to get you guys off topic because I know yeah. you guys have a thing. Um, no, you can get off topic. No, man. if, if no. somebody was going to pay me, <laughs> <laughs> if somebody was going to pay me $15 a subscription, I had 3,000 people that were committed yeah. to that every month, I would flick my asshole on the fucking internet yeah. all day. Yeah. Absolutely. What are you talking about? Money you would can, probably change. You, you can re- no, yeah, well, you can ridicule yeah. me all you want, but these bills are paid. But then I'm look, dead, I cute. I seen a TikTok today where yeah. it said like where it starts to consume you. So like uh-huh. you start doing OnlyFans, it's just ads or lingerie. But then you message somebody like, hey, I'll pay you three hundred dollars for a video. Okay. Then you do that, and it, it just starts to escalate, and you don't even know, and now you get lost in this world. No, if you want to pay me five hundred dollars to f me, like you could really you could have just took me out to eat. But if you're willing to pay me five hundred dollars, yeah. I see what you mean. You know what I mean? Like what you really you really, you really just took me to Red Lobster, Cheddar is nothing. Mm-hmm. The cheapest like, would have been yeah. thirty bucks. Yeah. But you want to pay me five hundred? Let's go. I'm in. Yeah. I know okay. it's very. I know. Would I, I do what? Would you like? He said, take naked pictures of your girlfriend and post them. I don't know. Videos? I don't know. If I paid you, I have a big ego. That's why. Though. But if I paid you two hundred dollars and said, Alvaro, I want to see your PB for two hundred dollars. You want to do that for two hundred dollars? I would show my PB for two hundred dollars. First of all, I would be very pissed off at you. <laughs> if I were you. I didn't yeah. when I. I didn't even know you had it until like months later, bro. I would be so upset. Like, yeah, I, I, I think I sent it to him. I think I sent it. You sent it today. I sent it to him today. And, and the fact today. that you were kneeling, like yeah. you were squatting. Well, you can say the backstory. Did you tell him back? Yeah, we were watching a game or something. Yeah. But uh, that, that's gonna be I the have, rated X version of this episode. Yeah. He says, kind of sus that I, I thought it was phone. great. I have on my phone yeah. for blackmail, but no, in case yeah. I ever need it. So kudos, that's to you. I think up. that's very amazing. Mm-hmm. Okay. But um, back to okay, OnlyFans. Yeah. I was, I do have like a my ego's big, so like, mm-hmm. I don't know. Like, when I think about a girl, I'm like, oh, that's only my girl. No one can see. <laughs> this, I used to have this guy yeah. at, at, at Lousy, he say, I'm not gay, but my boyfriend is. It was so freaking hilarious. Yeah. Everything you know, Brian, Brian. from Red Lobster. Big Brian. swole dude. He's like, hey, it's okay. I'm not gay, but my boyfriend is. Brian, I remember the Brian. Funniest shit ever. I really don't remember Brian. Yeah. Anyways, I would do it. I would take pictures of yes of my girlfriend, nice. post them. I She's was... fucking beautiful. Yeah, there you what? Go. Only if we were somewhere where nobody knew us. Okay. Because if it was like here in Waco, like, nah, that's just too Whatever. awkward. Get the... I, I would do one right now. Like, okay. I'm not going to lie. With someone, but I would not show her face or my face. No one would know. Oh, okay. my tattoos, I wouldn't show them. Like, I would find a way to. You guys are crazy. Whatever. I, everybody's going to fucking know that it's I, you, yeah, yeah you're no, right. nobody would know it's me. Like, yeah, you know, not this like you just know exactly what my penis looks like. Yeah, but a lot of penises look the same. So that's not true at all. That's not true at no, all. Really? I, I mean, I would. I don't, I don't know. I think, I, I, at least on porn, it does. <laughs> let the girls know. <laughs> let the girls. Know. Anyway, um, you had a good question earlier. Okay, now you can ask it. You asked him how did he hear about the false nine. But that was like yesterday when I asked him that. <laughs> I know. Oh my God, God. How did I hear about the false nine? Okay, so you. I heard... And I'm guessing it was a good story because y'all stopped it. Was it a good story? About the false nine? Or how you heard of it about the false nine? So nine. here's what happened. Um, did I ever hit you up? No. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Well, you did. Yes, he did. No, okay, so th- this is what happened. Alvaro hit me up. I don't know if we were already friends on Facebook at the time. I heard you mention earlier that we were friends on Facebook, and I'm sorry that I don't know because I really do add random people. I, and I and, do that too. Yeah, I do. I add random people, to, especially when I was on part, well, when I started part, when I went to market myself. Mm-hmm. And so, um, Alvaro hit me up. Um, I think you were living in Chicago at the time, mm-hmm. and you had your old guest. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so, um, he hit me up and he says, hey, man, I, I see you're in the podcast game. And I was still fairly fresh. Yeah. And um, he was like, I love your podcast. We should talk about being on each other's episodes. Da, da, da. And then I checked out his epi- or his podcast, The False Nine, because he said you watch all my ones. And yeah. I was like, oh, thanks. And, you know, he was very easy on the eyes. I was like, you know, you're very good looking. <laughs> you know, the whole, whole spiel. He was like, I'm not gay. I was like, I'm not trying to get with you. I'm just saying you're very, very mm-hmm. deliciously good looking. <laughs> That's not I gay. Blush, bro. Yeah, yeah. And then I just seen his shit. So it's yeah. like, and so anyway. <laughs> <laughs> So, like, so, hey, so, so that's how I heard about the false nine. So I, every every 
I, I try to watch as much as I can. I really do. Yeah. Like, I, I will have it on at the house. And, and you know what? A shout out to Yvette Vila Gomez um, from P and I Designs. She walked in on me watching your podcast, so Aww. she can verify. Yes, I had you on the big screen. Yeah. Yes, I did. And I was like, oh, this guy watches my show and yeah. whatever, whatever. Yeah, and I, you know, that's how yeah. I found out about the false night. Yeah. Not so. yet, and I, you actually scheduled me to be on prior. Pri- yeah. This and, is our. Ah, yeah. uh, for me, this is my. This is the third attempt for me. First right. time was you. COVID. Yeah, yes. Second time was, uh, I think it was right. I was going to ask you, but yeah. then my cousin decided what he was going to like do different things. And okay. that's when this transition happened. Gotcha. And I think that's when I hit you up and I was like, I'm going to have you on. Yeah. Transitions, blah, blah, blah. I felt bad when I had to cancel the first yeah. time. I just didn't know I am. I, I'm had, I don't want to say I'm happy it didn't yeah. happen, but there's a reason why I did it. Was it because of COVID? Well, he got COVID. I had co- oh, I you got, had COVID? I got COVID. Oh, my god. I didn't see, no, I didn't announce it because everybody was going to freak the fuck out. Like, oh, my God, he has COVID. Like, you know, it was a yeah. What did you think about I, it? Like, how- So, I I have to say that I was fortunate where it did not hit me hard. That's good. It did, and, and, you know, I know that it's affected a lot of families. It's affected a couple of my friends and their family. And my heart goes out to them in prayers. And I know that it was a very serious disease. But for me, I was very grateful that it did nothing to me. I The worst thing that happened to me, I was in bed one day. I was like, oh, I don't feel so good. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then... Oh, um, damn, bless you. Look yeah. <laughs> no, one day. And then the rest of the week, I couldn't taste their smell. Oh, shit. And, you know, I love coffee. So yeah. I, was, I couldn't taste my... I was pissed. Damn. But I got to be off of work. Well, I shouldn't say it like that. I got yeah. to be... I was off of work, whatever. And, um, you know, we had, obviously we had to stop production and stuff. But then got them ahead on episodes and all that. So I didn't, I didn't announce it because... I didn't want people to make a yeah. big spectacle. And you told me to keep it low key. Yeah, I did because because yeah. the the podcast people were gonna think that I was putting people in danger, and that wasn't yeah. the case. Like oh, yeah. you people know, would I, blow it out of proportion. Yeah, people would blow it completely out of proportion, and I I took every precautionary measure that I could. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? To try not to get. I used to work in the medical field for a long time. We oh, did wow. everything we could to not get it, and I just got it. Like yeah. it was inevitable. I knew Is that, that how you got it. Um, I don't know how I got it. I honestly don't know how I got it. But again. We have to live day to day lives. I had to yeah. go to the store. I was working out at the gym. People were just getting it, and yeah. I, I was like, it's, "If it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen." And it did. And I, I had it again. It didn't. I think I was sick for a week. Yeah. I think. I think by the by the time I got my results, I was better. So actually, I oh, could have. I could have came on your show. Yeah. What made you been... take the COVID test? Well, okay. So we, I was getting exposed from people at my other job. Um, they were getting COVID. Oh, shit. And so at my other other job, yeah. <laughs> they were the protocol was if you become in contact, you have to take two weeks off, go get COVID tested. I got COVID tested, negative. Um, came in, somebody else at the other job got it. Mm-hmm. Um, COVID tested, negative. Damn. Um, then I was like, oh, I'm not feeling too good. What's yeah. going on here? COVID test. By the time I got it, it was positive, but I was feeling better. Oh, you know, like, so yeah. that's like, that's what's scary. Like, I didn't even know I had it. Like, I had no idea I had it. I, mm. One day I was like, one. Yeah. One. So, like, you know what I mean? So, again, we... I, you were one of the lucky ones. Then. Yeah. I mean, bl- but there, thank, I think there's a thank lot. God. Yeah, thank God. You think you got COVID? Me? Yeah. I thought I had COVID once, but... I think you know, I got COVID. I was just yeah. sad. I couldn't I think breathe. I got COVID. To be, it just hits everybody different. And, you know what I said? You know, I said, I thought I had COVID because I couldn't breathe, but they just told me I was fat. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I, I just... I, I acknowledge that it affects everybody differently, but that's like any illness. I know a girl, yeah. when she gets strep throat, my best friend Jennifer, when she would get strep throat, she would act like she's dying. When I get strep throat, I'm like, oh, I got strep throat, whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so, same thing with COVID. Yeah, I was a little sick, but... What people were saying, like, oh my God, I gotta go to the hospital. I'm running out of breath. That didn't, that, thank, yeah. thank, thank God that didn't happen to me. But, you know, yeah, I had it and I got over it and I thank God I'm good. And it was, again, I was, it didn't hit me. I was so, like, I don't want to say I was like so sad, but I was like, yeah. damn. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I, you know what's fun fact? I was in the shower when we had to talk about it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> I remember. Yeah. I don't know if I was in, I think I was already in Chicago. Uh-huh. I was still in Chicago and you had told me about it. Yeah. Because you were coming into town mm-hmm. for ju- yeah that's yeah. What, okay I was I was I was going in yeah but um yeah I mean some people obviously some people knew yeah. I told some people but I was like I'm not gonna post on Facebook oh my god I got COVID like yeah. I, I got fucking sick I got yeah. sick you know, get yeah. over it boom yeah. but you know again shout out and prayers to everybody who was affected horribly by it because I, I my heart goes out for them seriously yeah. it's it was scary like it was and people still know? didn't even take it seriously whenever people were actually yeah. dying and getting sick there's still people out there not wearing masks yeah. and like the care in the world but, but, that's, but that's but that's what i'm saying too like you guys everybody has to understand that i took every precautionary measure mm-hmm. not yeah. to get it like we had yeah. to we were all mandated to wear masks i washed my hands religiously because mm-hmm. especially at my other job we yeah. had to wash our hands every five fucking seconds mm-hmm. um hand sanitizer out the ass and i still got it like so it was yeah. you know we, it's just gonna get it. Like it's tricky. Yeah. yeah. So, but I'm good. Thank God. 
That's Thanks good. for having me. <laughs> of course. Yeah. But I will say, like, I remember, I forgot if I was on, I was on Facebook, just on my computer looking. Okay. And I seen, like, I seen you, and I was like, who is this guy? And then I left it, you know? And then I kept seeing you again yeah. and again and again. And I was like, this guy has a podcast. Did you say he's hot? No, I, I, I don't judge that. Uh, <laughs> I was, I was like, <laughs> coming out episode one three. <laughs> no, see, that's why I can't drink wine on the show because I've already leaned over and given Kiss a chip. <laughs> and, um, and then... Um, I would pay to see that. Because I can take a picture. Would you? Okay, good, yeah. sorry. And then, uh, <laughs> shit, be like, how much? <laughs> I'll do it for you. No, I'll do it for you. Do it for the show. We'll do it for the show. How about that? Nah. No. But as a, what do they call when it's like a picture? Thumbnail. A thumbnail. 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 Yeah. Okay, thumbnail. Be, that would be Really cute. But um, <laughs> I remember I keep seeing you over and over. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I was like, who is this guy? You know, and then I finally noticed. And I was like, and then I started watching you more. Oh, I watched okay. your clips. And I was like, this guy is actually pretty good. Oh, thank you. And he that's actually good. getting views and he's getting people in constantly. Uh-huh. So I was like, that's good. And then that's when I decided to hit you up. Because I was, yeah. I'm very like shy to get to know people. That's, yeah. And then now I was like, I got to reach out and like try and connect with people that are kind of doing similar things. Okay. And I thought it was kind of cool to see someone else in Waco mm-hmm. do a podcast and just, just putting it all out there. Right. No shame. And just like. Yeah. yeah. And that, that was the thing, Avro. Like, um. I didn't, I, I have to say, be honest, I, I didn't watch any podcasts before I started mm-hmm. The Public Affair. I wasn't familiar with them. I just, I was like, this is an idea that I have. It was an idea in the years to make, mm-hmm. but um, I just did it. And thank God and thank the community of Waco and everybody who watches that it was received really well and mm-hmm. it's still being received really well. And I'm forever, like, eternally grateful. Like, nobody understands. I'm, I'm about to release my 45th episode this Monday or oh, nice. And so days. it's still shocking to this day yeah. after 45 episodes, like, that it does so well. Like, I'm like, yeah. it's still, like, shocking to me. You know yeah, You're still mean? growing, too. Like, you're, you're, yeah, you're at the point where, like, yeah. you, every single episode, you notice more people. More um, people. You know, well... Are you steady right now? Th- see, this is that's the thing. It, it is, I would say it's steady. Some mm. episodes get more views than others. It, that's just the way it is. You know what I mean? More people want to see this person and what they're talking about. And more, more people are like, yeah, I'm not really into this person and what they're talking about. And that's the beauty of the public affair. There's an episode on there for everybody. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's not just about one thing. And so when people ask me what the show's about, I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm just in there talking shit. You know what I mean? Because you told me that, like, the reason why did you start it, like, to talk about some some stuff, like, yeah. No, tell me what did I say? I think you told me like, um, like the public <laughs> affair, literally. Okay, so not literally, but that's kind of what me, it was. Let me just clarify some yeah. things, okay? Yeah. I am not trying to sleep with anybody who came on the show. Mm-hmm. Now, here's the thing: I have in my life, I used to have this joke where I used to make fun of side pieces. Mm-hmm. Okay, come to find out, I was a side piece for many years. Oh, shit. Oh, so shit. while I'm over here talking shit about side pieces, the mm-hmm. person that I was fucking around with had a whole nother fucking relationship going on. And I'm yeah. like, oh, shit. Like, okay, I'm surprised. Fuck. You know what I mean? And yeah. so and I was like, damn, I can't talk about side pieces anymore. I'm like, fucking side pieces. You know yeah. what I mean? And so um, I when I was coming up with names, I was like, okay, what's going to catch people's eyes and this and that? Mm-hmm. And I was like, ooh, what about the public affair? We'll keep it between us. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I'm interviewing different people in the public, mm-hmm. but I'm seeing different people all the time. Uh, like when you're late. having an affair. You know what I mean? Uh, so so then that's there was smart. there was yeah. a very select thank you <laughs> there was a very select few people who saw what I was doing in the very beginning if you notice uh, the majority of my guests had been males yeah okay mm-hmm. straight males at that I think I've had one gay person on the show mm-hmm. Other. right no <laughs> uh, <laughs> shout out the real yeah. but um but you know I again I wasn't trying to sleep with any of my guests nothing and I explained to them this is why I want you on the show because they all had shit going on like yeah. I, in the beginning it was it was boxers realtors rappers um, musicians this and that. And so it was men because I have an affair with men. Mm-hmm. Like, that, that, it was supposed to be funny. It was a play on yeah. words. Mm-hmm. And there was some people who got it. Then there were some people who really killed me. Like, you don't have enough females on there. Yeah. You know what I mean? And now yeah. I got queens for days. Yeah. So it, it was just a play on words. It's just to catch people's eyes. It's a good title. I like it. I stand by it. And I like my guests have been amazing. Thank you yeah. so much. Yeah. And and the guys, they know. Like, there's been some people who were scared to come on the show. Like, like George. Like, mm-hmm. not because he thought I was trying to sleep with him. But, you know, he's like, I don't know what to expect. Yeah. You know, I've had people ask me not to make gay jokes, which is totally fine yeah. and you know i was like don't, just know i'm not trying to really sleep with i'm not trying to do that it's just, we're gonna talk about you we're gonna yeah. talk about what you got going that's on that's the I'm, first one that caught my attention which one with wormy in it yeah, yeah. okay that was the soko people yeah. yeah and i love that episode i love it and we had so much fun it was like a two-hour recording process people really were like, like oh he's trying to sleep with me that's really why no I'm like, nobody yeah. ever thought that but like here's the thing because i'm gay yeah and so They're gay I know. <laughs> so, so like dudes dudes are automatically on the defensive and, and that's totally fine do you see what i'm saying because it's like well, we don't know what you're really trying to do but then when you really get to know me 
like they did. Yeah. It's like, oh, he's just cool. Like, he's regular. Like, I am, because yeah. that's what I am. You know what I mean? So, and most people, gay people are pretty cool. Like, they're, yeah, they so, are. Well, most of them are, but some people be on that scandalous hash shit. See, you know what I mean? those, so, no yeah. offense to the gay community, but those people piss me off. They do. They piss me they off, piss too. Me off, and, I, and I'm very blunt with my wants and needs. Yeah. But, like, again, like, how long have we been talking? I've never slid in your DMs at an appropriate yeah. hour of the night. I've made jokes, but I've never tried to sleep with you. And if I yeah. wanted to, I did it already. And so, like, you know, but it's whatever. <laughs> and, you know, after, after that, it's a whole different story. Yeah. But um, no, I, I, when they finally get to know me, like, you know, like, yeah, I'll do it. Like, yeah. you know, and so it's it's cool. Like, I like that. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Because I don't like to be boxed and categorized as yeah. one specific type of gay person that wears leotards and glitter and shit. And I'm like, no, I'm just over here regular as fuck. Like, I run yeah. a podcast called The Public Affair. You fuck with it, you don't. That's what's mm-hmm. yeah. so so. Yeah. So um, people got it, people that don't. Yeah. But now I got, I got, and I got beautiful queens on the show. You guys got to check it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I see them all the time. <laughs> Did you have somebody that was on the news already? Yeah. Oh, Shout right. out Lindsay Lipman, mm-hmm. News Channel 25. She was on the episode of the Public Affairs. How did you get her? Is it because oh, she, you know, she watches the show? Oh, for real? She watches my show. Oh, and, wow. um, oh, God, how did we connect? Um, I, God, was it Facebook? I think we were friends on Facebook, and I, I think I asked. I, I don't remember, but she. I remember her telling me, "Oh my God, I love your show. I love the Public Affair. I watch every episode." Like that's crazy. And I was like, "You want to be on it?" She's like, "Yeah." And we made a really fun episode. Yeah. Yeah. So you ever had a famous person on your on your podcast? Oh God, the day I get Frankie fucking J, I'm gonna die and go. To Frankie J. You know Frankie J, the the singer. Frankie yeah. J. You guys are young. Frank, oh, I don't know. Yeah. Are you like Frank Ocean? <laughs> I heard of Frankie local, J. Uh, not local. He's an R&B, Mexican R&B singer from back in the day. He still makes music today. He's an independent artist. He's not as famous, but I fucking love him. I'm a huge fan. Not yeah, even a homo shit. I have some like, songs with him. Yeah, bro. he's the best. Yeah, you probably do. Everybody does. <laughs> I'm going to have a... My goal is to have a... We talked about this, is to have like an athlete from the men's Baylor's basketball team. Oh, yeah. That'd be cool. Like, a, But then we came into... Uh, talking about he was we, featuring this song? Yeah, sugar, sugar. Yeah. Hello, Frankie really? J. Yeah. How do you know him, though? I don't know him. Oh, sure. <laughs> I went to a concert, you know, I'm a groupie. Nah, mm-hmm. not really. <laughs> <laughs> I went to one concert. I hung out the fucking sign. Of course, I stuck out because I told all those bitches. I was like, yeah. let me tell you something. I got the sign. I'm making the packet. I was drunk. <laughs> so um, I did. I met him. Like, he probably doesn't remember, but I've asked him on Instagram to come on the show. And, mm-hmm. uh, you know, we have to go through his people. People are going to call my people. Whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? So we'll see. Um, famous people. I mean, I don't know about Do you want to put that out there right now? What's that? That you want to have him on? Oh, I've said it in every oh, okay. single thing that I've had the opportunity to do so. <laughs> every single yeah. episode he posts, every, I mean, every end, like, You can go, you can go on the public affair. You can go on my, my yeah. page and you can see that I've referenced it several fucking times. Because so. I, think, I think now I'm not even going to say who I'm going to have on the show. Okay. I just like doing that. Like, just like. Like you'll see them. Yeah, like, yeah. Like right, like probably after this, I'll have like a little like Snapchat. Oh. I'll just like show and like that you were on. That's it. Yeah. And, like that's when they'll know. I, I kind of like that suspense. Like the yeah, I, but I I think that builds up excitement. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, I know what you mean. I know yeah. what you mean. Uh, my first guest, Timo, Timo the rapper, Terrence Moore. Shout out to him. He had a song on the Mortal Kombat 11 trailer. You remember oh, when that game wow. came? I out? I yeah. I remember seeing that whole uh-huh. spectacle when that all that happened. Right. He was. He made a song. It got on the freaking the game or it's whatever. War. Yeah. I, um, I, shout out to Joey Sice's opening for Nelly. Mm. Um, he was on episode five of The Public Affair. He's gonna be. Uh, uh, Nelly's here in Waco. Nelly's coming to Waco, and um, Joey Sice's opening. Did you get a ticket? Um, I did not get a ticket. Damn. Uh, <laughs> did you? Huh? Did you? Yeah. yeah. Um, Wormy. George, he plays mm. professional soccer in California now. Mm. Shout out to him. Famous people. I mean, you know. Did they win that championship? Oh God. I want to. I just put you on blast. Yeah, I watched the game, and unfortunately, they lost that game. So I want to say no, because mm, I know they were playing their final game. Out okay, not so long. We ago. watched it at Soak. I think they did lose, but let me tell you guys something. Um, Wormy is a fucking beast, and Have you ever got to play with. Him? I got the chance to play with him yeah. a couple times, especially at indoor, Ve- and he was yeah. freaking. Cold. He is very good. Is he like, coaching now? No, he's playing. He's, he's playing. still playing. He's playing professional oh. soccer. And let me tell you something. He's one of the nicest people I've ever met. He truly is. Like when I, I first thought when I met him, I thought uh, he was a little shy. You know, he's one of those. But he, like me and him, are like we're good friends now. Like you know, back really in Robinson, nice. when they used to have an indoor. I used yeah. To play all the time. Yeah. So yeah. I remember. Well, when I played with them, I didn't realize. I didn't realize how good he really was. Yeah. Because when he played with us, he does not play hard at all. Okay. When I start seeing him play right now, I'm like, dude, this guy's a yeah. Movie. He's really great. And you know what? Um, when you watch that episode, he's got 
a very inspired, like, you know, Waco is a small town and where he grew up, a lot of people probably weren't afforded those opportunities. He really, really worked hard for yeah. all that. He is very much an inspiration, like very much so. Yeah. I respect him a lot and I'm, we're really good friends, yeah. And yeah. then of course I had Chrissy from the radio station. She used to be on 97.5 mm-hmm. and then she's on Power of the Way, so. No. I want to have the guy that's on that radio station on TikTok. I can't remember his name. But <laughs> the voice? Huh? But the, but voice? the voice? Do you watch? Do you have a TikTok? No. Are you don't you oh, have God. a TikTok? No. Really? Why? I think it's the most annoying app in the whole world. It's, it's annoying like you think you'll get hooked on it or annoying no, like you, just, you don't like, see it as funny? I'm, I'm that weird person that when something becomes a fad, I'm out. Uh, you know what I mean? So you had a TikTok? Never. Never? No. Never. <laughs> the app is cool. Like even because well, everybody a, thought about getting it, but like, oh, right. everybody has. Well, it, let me because so. let me tell you something. I'm a Pokemon whore. Like I <laughs> love Pokemon. When Pokemon Go came out, I wasn't fucking with it because so many people who never fucked with Pokemon were fucking with Pokemon. Are you Go. a real Pokemon me? fan? Oh, like, oh, absolutely. I, I mean, sure. I do Pokemon fan. Right? Uh, I used to have like GameCube. Po- like, yeah. I'm gonna try to figure out how to download Pokemon every on my game. iPhone. Oh, I'll help you. And so, <laughs> <laughs> please. And so when Pokemon Go came out, I was like not fucking with it because it became this big fad. And then just like a year or two ago, I, was, yeah. I started getting into it because it's kind of like only the people who stuck with it are yeah. playing. And it's not the whole fucking community. People still play know? it. Yeah, yeah but it's like it's, real Pokemon It's fan, still though. relevant, yeah. Yeah, but real fans, yeah. I love it. So. I remember when Pokemon Go came out, I told my parents to take me to uh, downtown okay. what a, what to walk nerd. around. What a nerd. Yeah. I'm just kidding. And there were so <laughs> many people walking around downtown trying to were catch Were you that Pokemon. young? I don't know how young I was. Yeah. I was like seven. Do you know how old he is? Do you know how old he is right now? <laughs> how old is he? You don't, you don't He's know 25. How, 23. 23. Oh. Oh. You know how old I am? Guess how old I am. You can edit that part out. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. 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 You think I'm older than him or younger than him? Huh? You think I'm older than him or younger than him? You're older than him. Okay. What makes you think that? Because you just are. Okay. How, how, how old do you think I am? <laughs> I was 23. Yeah. Okay. How old do you think I am? You're 26. 26. God, okay. really? I'm mm-hmm. 22. I'm younger than him. Damn, I thought I was gonna look. I feel like I fucked up. I'm sorry. (laughs) No, (laughs) simple wine, but he's feeling it. I need some more. It was good, right? Yeah, it was good. Good. Um, what was I gonna say? It's a good episode. This is always gonna last more than one hour. Yeah, yeah. We're not we're not gonna touch on this last part because this last part is a lot of that I really wanted to get into, and it was about you growing up. We can. We're not gonna do it. Why can't we? Because I like to stick at it one hour, bro. Uh, okay. Like one hour is like where it's at. One hour is where it's at. How what if we now? did it and then you made it two parts? Yeah. I mean, we could. It's up to you. I'm not I, gonna... I, I just would well, rather stay to an hour. Oh, we can have him back another time. We'll have, we'll have him back. We'll you have do back. edit, right? Yeah, I, feel I do. very violated. <laughs> wow, because of that. <laughs> like, so, I know he was... My rule is you have to be at least 21 years old. Oh, for real? Yes. See, me? Just... I have a rule. What is the youngest person you've ever dated? Or, or talked to or whatever? I always date people older than me. Bro. Well, no, I fucked the guy. <laughs> I fucked the guy who was about four years younger than me. Four years younger. Yeah. You no, 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 excuse me. No, he wasn't. We were the same age. Never mind. Take that back. Okay. Oh. I, yeah, we were, we're the same look, age. He just looked younger. Or what? No. <laughs> he just looked the same age. No, 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 no. Oh shit. Oh my god, I'm body counting here. Um. What happened to your nail? I was trying to hide it. Oh. <laughs> I was picking it. Um. No, me and him were the same. Way to put him on blast like that. We're the same age. I'm sorry, I got off track here. I'm sorry, go ahead. What about the oldest person? 55. God! 55? Oh, God, dude. (laughs) Must have been one of those dudes that just like age well. You know? He probably did. That was an experience. Or you just drunk or something or what? Um, no, we fucked around a few times. Nice. Other than my dad. I hope my dad never sees that. (laughs) (laughs) I don't want to talk. Too much about your personal life. I, no, you I, I still want to have you back on because I mean I okay. love this episode. Did you want to reschedule me? Yeah, we're gonna have to reschedule because okay, okay. we wanted to touch about like you and like growing up gay. Really, okay, yeah. I mean, Especially I gotta hit grow up gay. What if you grow up straight? We already had this conversation. Game. That's I why I we'll haven't, I haven't talked two. to him. What if he was straight, had a girlfriend, and then just grew up gay? What if my, somebody broke? My my mom used to ask my cousins oh. to ask me. <laughs> If I was gay. I got you. And then I thought I was hiding it for a long time, right? Mm-hmm. And then um, my friends, when I came out, had already knew. Because nobody's fucking stupid. Yeah. You know what I mean? So were yeah. you... Um, damn, I don't even want to ask too much. I don't know if you want to ask something real quick. I mean, are you okay with coming back and talking about it? I'm very okay. I want everybody to know that I let Alvaro know that he can ask me any question. I don't yeah. get offended by nothing. I'm not one of those prudes. I am all for it. I'm and I figured that because I asked him. Yeah. So he Okay, let me tell you what he wrote on the piece of paper, that the first script that he wrote at mm-hmm. my job. He wrote on there, he put, he put, 
<laughs> two reasons why I want to have Andrew on. Okay. One, because he's a he has his own podcast. Two, what was the other one? Because of his sexuality. Yeah, you're like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I just want him on because of his sexuality. <laughs> like, that's kind of fucked up. Like, why would you just? Have but I wanted to talk about gay. growing up and being like gay because I never really, honestly, my honest, I'm being straight up honest with both of y'all. Yeah. I didn't really like like gay people. Like, okay. for real. Like, I don't want, I didn't hate them. I hear that? Right. I hear that? Jump them. No, yeah. I, I like when you, yeah. that you can admit that. I really do. You know, because yeah. I was like, ugh, like, why are you gay? You yeah. Know, honestly. <laughs> yeah. That's fucked up. It is fucked up. It is yeah. very fucked up. Yeah. You know, but then, like, I kind of started to realize, I started to grow. I was, like, 18, 19. I was like, you know, some people are just gay. Like, you know, it just, um, it is what it is. You and, know. What it is. It's not for you to understand because you're not Yeah, because I'm, I'm not going to, like, yeah. sit here and try to explain or pressure yeah. you into this is how you should feel. Yeah. Like, if you don't get it, cool. I don't get how you like girls. That's yeah. just fucking gross. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I, don't, I, rather, own way. I would rather you not try to explain it to me. I just yeah. would rather stick in my lane. You stick in your lane. I think yeah. you're hot. You don't think I'm hot. Boom, boom, boom. One, two, three, ABC. Like, that's it. Yeah. And I was <laughs> telling him, by the way you are in your videos, I don't uh. think you would have been you would have been like, oh, why are you asking me that? That's kind of rude. No, I hate I think you would have been like, like really cool about it. And yeah. I feel like how real cool about your your gayness and like, yeah. you're like, oh, like just, just, I mean, I, I don't know. Just now you're like, yeah, I think I was very hot. So, yeah. so this and that. Listen, I'm very comfortable with who I am. Um, people, the people fuck with me because I'm real. That's yeah. pe period point blank. Okay. I, I don't, I, there's no character of me. I don't act a certain way. This is me. I, I don't push it on you. Mm -hmm. It's very fucking obvious. You know what I mean? I used to work with a dude yeah. um, who actually pushed it. That's and annoying. he was literally like... See, that would piss me off. That's like, annoying. That's annoying. That I, I can't That's remember annoying. his name. My girlfriend probably remember his name. He worked with us. He would push it on everybody. Like, damn, yeah. hey, you ever try doing this? We should try it sometime. Like, hey, like, for real, for real, like, he would text you, like, yeah. do this and that. And like, well, and damn. I, and I want to ver I want to clarify that I only do that with the men who are down. Yeah. You know, they... they or I, people you're I, cool I, with. I know, when, I know when I'm being sent messages. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? I, I've played this game a long time. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, just for full disclosure, I've slept with the majority of men I slept with have been straight down low guys, mm -hmm. and it's fine. It's fucking fun. I like it. It's great. The, the games are too dramatic. They're too. Yeah. yeah. Are you one? Yeah. Are you one of those that's like really sexually active? Like, like, <laughs> not saying that you're a whore. Yeah. Or whatever, but like, <laughs> oh, but let like, me tell you something. Because you know, people ask people like guys yeah. will ask a, a girl like, "Hey, what's your body count?" Like, "Hey, morals so, have gone completely out the window for me." I used to be like, oh, "I'm gonna wait till I'm married." No, you take me out to eat. We're fine. Yeah. Or you really, you really just can slide in my DMs, and if I'm free, we can totally do it. I don't see what's wrong with that. Like you, you have needs, I have needs. Yeah, I have protection. I always wear protection. I'm not trying to be a statistic. You, and I've never been convinced otherwise. Mm -hmm. You know. And you know, would you say your body counts over twenty? Absolutely. Thirty. <laughs> yeah. Fifty. Why you gotta do them like this? Uh, I skip it. What do you feel like? He yeah. saying yes so uh, quick. So oh like, okay. God. No, it can't be more than fifty. No, it has to be. It has to be less than thirty. It has to be less than thirty. I think that's even a big number. <laughs> yeah. I have to. I have to you you know to this you, guy. You, you're gonna, no, no, I'm, I love it. You're gonna. You're gonna have me back. Yeah. I would love to think. Think it out. All the. Now, are we talking about just oral sex or everything? Like, like, are you talking about like going in and out or what you yeah. talking about? Like, did I just blow a guy or did we have full on sex? I think oral sex is still sex. It bro. still like, counts. It, yeah, counts. it still counts. Mm, okay. That's so great. And so... <laughs> you, I, will count, I will count and give you a number. People can people get to know him. Yeah. Like, I mean, yeah. like, like, people ask him, like, do you like giving it or getting it? I love whatever they want. I'm very... Oral sex wise. I'm, I'm very... Deal, I so. love giving oral sex. <laughs> <laughs> my dad's gonna watch it I'm sorry dad don't watch this um, no I do I, I, listen, I, I don't I'm gonna know share why, on my Facebook I'm gonna have my church friends look at it <laughs> yeah, oh well too bad listen I don't know why people are such prudes about yeah. fucking sex like we're all adults I, you know what you like I know what I like I want to know what you like and I want you to know what I like yeah. and everybody fucking does it yeah. I don't care who you are everybody does it everybody's done it everybody's had those slutty nights yeah. you know what I mean we've all had them drunk slutty ass oh shit I don't know if I should've did that you know what I mean I don't really I haven't had that yet. I, 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 I seen a video on no, Facebook either. or a picture yeah, that but, said it was a guy with this girl and a baby, but the girl was like super ugly as hell. It was yeah. like a monkey and it said when you're one night stand turns into a one night forever kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, like that's kinda of something that you're talking about. I, I just feel like like people are such prudes about it but for yeah. what? Do you know what I mean? Like like yes, I like to fuck. I want yeah. to be fucked. I think uh, I wanna fuck you. 
you know, that's it. Yeah, like, I nice. think a lot of people would say that nice. But that's going to be the caption. Like, can I just say, I'm single. Yeah. If I, if that's what I choose to do, I don't see what's wrong with Jeez. that. Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like if I just want to go have sex, why can't, I, why can't it just be that? Like, why can't it just be strictly platonic? Yeah. And like, okay, we have sex, boom. That, like, why are we making it a big deal? Some people just... Like, you'd be good with the, yeah. the, the, the guy who we had on the last episode, uh-huh. Zach Wooten. He's actually... Does he want to have sex? He's actually him? testing it out. What do you mean uh, testing like, it out? Between a guy and a girl. So if people know Zach, then he's experimenting. Yes, he's experimenting what? Really? With a guy, Zach. Mm-hmm. So I'm you? T- just, I'm just kidding. Oh, what? Hey, you, you should let on them. But really, let Zach watch it. Zach, give him, give him the digits. I'm in. <laughs> give me the digits. They have had to get them. Are you? Are you from Waco? I'm from New York. You're from New York? This is a whole nother story, bro. We okay. can't even... So you're from here? Oh, I'm from here. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, I can come back. I'll come back. You got to come back. I will. You're I, gonna I would back. love to come back. When you have me back. Or we can just go on your episode. No. I feel like... <laughs> nah. Would you, would you like to have us on your episode? I, no, I, I really want to be on this episode because I want to... Like, I think it's something it's that like. we should really sit down. I think we should talk about it. Yeah. You know? And I'm, I am I mean, I'd love to come back onto the podcast. The, oh, my God. The False Nine. Mm-hmm. And... um. Yeah, I mean, I've told Alvaro that I, we should talk about him coming on the show. You know, I just like my 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 shits. I don't mean to sound any type of fucking way. I ain't nobody at all. But I've just got so many guests I lined bet. up. You know what I'm? Re- I'm trying to like. I really try to like. I don't want to have two of the same type of guests in one time. And mm. this person would do good after this person. Yeah. So yeah, You're like so. ADHD kind of thing with your guests. I, uh, <laughs> a little, a little bit. bit, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I would love to. I'm really happy you guys have me on. Yeah. yeah. One question Go ahead. before we. Probably wrap it up. Oh. What makes you feel? Well, how? Not what makes you. How are you so open and like so like transparent? Or what made you be like that? Right. I. I'm God. You know. I think it was when you finally become true to yourself. Mm-hmm. Like who and, you really are. Yeah. And yeah. and I'm fortunate. Not that I'm naive that yeah. about what really goes on in the world, but I'm fortunate where nobody has ever taken an opportunity from me. Mm-hmm. for being me does that make sense yeah. i i didn't have to face any of those hardships and when i realized that people liked me more for being just me rather than trying to portray this image that i was this straight masculine like, guy right, which never really happened mm-hmm. but i don't know i just like i just i've done some deplorable things in my life and so the fuck have you and so the fuck have you mm-hmm. and why why hide the skeletons in my closet if we've all been guilty of doing something that we're not proud of? Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? So, like, I don't mind telling y'all that I slept with some 55-year-old fucking yeah. man who was married. Like, it's just, like, who cares? Oh, you didn't say who was married. <laughs> God, <laughs> God damn. <laughs> <laughs> that was Nick but, but, I, I didn't tell you that. But, but, you know, I don't, I don't identify him. Yeah. I don't say this is who it was. It's just, it's yeah. fun to talk about. That shit, yeah. that, that shit's funny. It is. That, it some is. guy came to my house fucked me and stole my Nintendo. Like, really? <laughs> you know how sad I was? Do you know how sad I, I was? So scared <laughs> that, like, oh my god, I had to call my friend at the Ooh. time who was uh, he was convicted yeah. of breaking into houses, and I had to fucking call him. I was so scared, and I called him. God rest his soul. Um, oh my god, is he gonna break into my house again? He goes, no, nobody breaks into. He gave me the whole spiel, yeah. you know. And like at the time, I was very hurt and like you know scared. He's but now it's like funny. Taylor. Why you stole my Nintendo? Give yeah. it to your fucking daughter. When I see him, I punch her in her face. <laughs> Yeah. I'm my shit back. That's my Nintendo. Yeah, that was funny. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it is funny, but god damn. Did he give it back to you? No. <laughs> <laughs> we fucked once, but let me tell you guys something. That was like one of the best fucks ever. <laughs> That's why he took it. It was, like, it was like a one night stand type of thing. You know, he was out of prison, like very straight. He, I guess he was gay for staying. He was fucking around the low. Cool. I got no problem with that. Um, Very, very. <sighs> I had a good time. I didn't see him steal my Nintendo. When the fuck did you steal my Nintendo? Is that why you flipped me over so many times? Like you were trying to sneak <laughs> that shit. You know what I mean? That's God, crazy. But, but like we. But has everybody? I don't care. Has anybody ever not been not in that maybe not that particular situation? But they've been in a situation where it's like, oh shit, this happened to me. But why hide it? Mm-hmm. And then what? You gonna throw it in my face? Like you can't throw it in my face. That's some new dude fucked me and stole my Nintendo because I already told you it happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't know. I've, I think it's just me. Yeah. I like just being. Me. I like that. You know yeah. what I mean? And but be- I think it's important that like people hear that because like, yeah. a lot of people try to like pretend and show this image uh. when they go eat, when they go to the store, even on social media, especially on social oh, media. Oh, social media. Oh, people honey. just act like completely different people. Yeah. And it's just like, like when they see you on the public affair, like that's Andrew, mm-hmm. you know? And when I want, when people see me here, like this is me. Yeah. When people see Eric, like th- this is Eric. Like you know? how the f- entire fuck <laughs> can you 
portray yourself as this one person on social media and then outside of that be completely like what the fuck is wrong with you? I don't see what goes through your mind like yeah, yeah like, you don't know that people what, like know how, you're how do you, you sit there and like I don't, I don't know, know like like the, the bible thumpers like oh how, my god how do, those people piss me off how do you off. sit there and be like I'm in maiden God's image and I love Jesus and then outside you're a complete asshole not just like, get yeah, the fuck smoking, out of here doing drugs well, do you, you want to ask because you're kind of my time <laughs> no dude I see a lot those girls like that that post this I'm like bro you're not even like that no like but like what and then and then everybody eventually catches on to the gimmick yeah and yeah, the thing out. about the public affair the thing about me and everything is there is no gimmicks yeah it's just this is, that's, this that's is it and yeah. people just fuck with it that's it all you have to do is be real all you have to do is be true to yourself you know what I mean like when I met the SoCo guys yeah. I didn't go in there trying to act like I was some hard soccer player yeah. I am fucking fat as fuck I didn't play no yeah. goddamn soccer and I'm okay yeah. you know what I mean Period. Yeah. Nothing but else. I think, um, what are they like? Like when you're true to yourself, yeah. like you attract just more people. Mm. I don't know. I've heard some shit like that. But I'm like right now, like I think I'm being myself more and more. Right, right. And I think people start to, they see that, and then more people actually like me for who I really am, right. not for like someone that I try to act and try and be like. Okay. But I, I just think it's annoying. I think it's an annoying character trait to have to try to portray yourself as something that you're not like why would you want to promote this false image of yourself why don't you just be yourself you know so i don't know to answer your question there was nothing that really inspired me to be myself i just was like did you ever not want to say pretend to be someone else Mm -hmm. but did you ever have like phases where you were acting out to be someone else that you really wasn't um i mean no i I think you've always been like this true person to yourself i I feel like Back in the day, like before I came out, obviously you don't want anybody to know that yeah. you're gay, and so because you're scared, and so I just kind of did the best I can to hide it and try to talk about girls and shit. Yeah. I don't know, I, 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 and then I also I went through some like mentally emotional things yeah. back in like when I was very young, and you know that I had to deal with, and it made me act out inappropriately if that's the proper term to yeah. use towards people. Yeah, and and once I. Once I kind of realized I can do shit on my own and I can be independent. You told me this, right? Yeah. And once I realized, oh, okay, I'm doing shit for myself. Yeah. I don't owe anybody an explanation for nothing. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? I don't have to explain to you a damn thing why I'm spending money on this, why I chose to do this this weekend. Yeah. I stood in a hotel for two days because my AC was out. Yeah. They were like, what the fuck? Because I fucking wanted to. And they yeah. had waffles. Get the fuck out of here, please. I was yeah. by a hotel for two days because yeah. I didn't want to go home. <laughs> you, know, yeah. so, you know, just, just kind of. So I, I, don't, yeah. I don't know how to answer that question, Alvaro. I, I yeah. wish I had a better answer for you. No, I think that I was wish a, I had more time to I actually. Know. I know. I mean, I, I really would. I, would, I wouldn't mind going the whole freaking another hour and talking, get to know you, but. This guy right here. No, we, okay. we gotta, we gotta, we gotta come back. We I would gotta love come to back. come back. Before we do in this episode, you know, I've known Alvaro since a long time. And I would see if you have any words for Alvaro, because I don't know if you heard, he was been going through a situation. Oh, um, yeah. Did he's, you hear that? Like, he's, I was he's, about... he's no longer in a relationship. Yeah. Um, He hasn't been by himself in, what, five years? You said? Been, yeah. So, I just got a relationship. I haven't been um, in a relationship. I've been in a relationship. It was last, like, two years, and I got into another one, like, six to eight months later. Okay. I was in that one for, like, three years. So, uh, it'd be, like, five years where I've been kind of, like, okay. in a With somebody. Yeah. So, basically, yeah. just saying, like, because I know lately he's been in the dump. Like, he's uh-huh. probably having all these thoughts yeah. through his head. Like, damn, I want to text her. I want to do this and that. How old are you? But he is. 23. 23. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Okay, I here spoke we go. to somebody who I know who is your age mm-hmm. um, just a few days ago. And I told him this. You have the entire world and your whole life ahead of you. You have the whole world at your disposal. Mm-hmm. Uh, disposal. Disposal. Um, girls are going to come and go. Uh, this is an opportunity. You're very young. You're yeah. a car salesman, so you are on a road to success. Because that's that can be a good job if you play your cards right. Yeah. You made you some good and that's money. That's why 20, I got him a job. There. At 23, if you yeah. play, if you're fucking smart, listen, Alvaro. This is a good op. At 23, I was still finding myself too. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I I I came out to my friends when I was 23. Damn. 24. Damn. You know, and so um, girls are gonna come and go. Love is going to come and go. I, I'm not a relationship yeah. expert. I'm just a big old whore. Go <laughs> have fun. Yeah. Go do you. You got your whole life ahead of you. Why you got to rush into it? Yeah. Like, honestly, what? what You want a kid right now? No. Yeah, no, nah, it's just you like, I, mean? <laughs> I think the hardest part for me is going to be like being alone, you know? 
No, but this is a good... So you can either channel that energy into being all sad that you're alone yeah. or use your alone time to find out other things that you like. Invest yeah. that time into building the false nine. Yeah. Invest that time into finding somebody that's a side piece on the side. Yeah. Experiment. You know? Yeah. <laughs> you just, uh-uh. you know? <clears throat> I mean, I'm in. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> you know? Um, uh, just use this time to find your happiness. Yeah. One of the best advice that my best friend... I give him a shout-out on every episode. Shout-out to Jaime. And his wife, Lupita, they just had baby JJ. Um, <laughs> the, one of the best advice that he gave me was to find your happiness. Mm. And Jaime has seen me through the dumps. I told you I went through some emotional bullshit. Yeah. He saw me go through my worst. And, you know, f- find the people that are going to ride for you. Yeah. And um, just find your happiness. Like, you can love her. Yeah. You can love her from a distance. And mm. just why, why you can't use this time to... Why can't you channel that energy into something else? Yeah. Like, you're just going to stay at home and be like, I'm a little... Nah. I, I told him it's gonna be hard whenever he's at home by himself and maybe he's like going through pictures or something or like in his mind he's, he's just going through his like what if yeah. she finds somebody else already yeah. that's gonna hurt him the most that, that, I, I, I told know this but that's that, that's any guy bro. Yeah. but like I bet when you were in high school when you were junior high you had that one girl you fucking yeah. loved or whatever and then then you met the girl that you just had a relationship with yeah, I bet man. you completely forgot about that girl I right? did and I just think you're young, and it hurts for a little bit. You yeah. know, we've all been through a little heartbreak and stuff. Yeah. It hurts, but you're it's gonna heal. Yeah, it, it's gonna feel like a century, and it's gonna be like two weeks. Yeah, Not and even. it's smart. Put that yeah. alone time into something yeah. that makes you happy. I think like you should. Use, nine. Yeah, you you should re- and you should channel that energy. All I talk about on my social media is the public affair. Yeah, you ever notice that? Yeah. That's all I fucking talk about. That's all I got time for. I don't got time for anything else. I made this long post the other day. I don't got time for your games. I don't got time to be out all fucking night anymore. I don't. I'm not partying. My my focus is the podcast. Your yeah. focus should be the false nine. Yeah. That's it. I you agree. built this. The false nine's doing good. What are you yeah. on? 30 episodes? 30, yes, 30. You, you obviously keep doing this because you really like it. I love it. You know, we've yeah. talked about numbers before you and I. Yeah. Let's be blunt here. Yeah. You're doing this because you really like it. You're not it. talking about those. Keep talking about numbers too. <laughs> <laughs> keep doing it. Focus yeah. your energy on this. Find out how you can build your show. Find out how you can build your brand. Because this can be something, Alvaro. Yeah. You got the potential, you got the looks. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Appreciate you. Don't fuck, like, fuck, no, 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 we don't know her. Yeah. I don't know her. But she's, what does she really do for you besides companionship? Does she give you anything? But like what? Do anything. You... Does she give you the false nine? No. Oh, okay. well, as far as things like that, like, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? He got you on that one. You'll be all right. Yeah. yeah. You'll be fine. There's one thing that I, a, a friend told me back in the day. He always, and I like this quote. We don't, we're not friends anymore. We fell off, but I will never forget he said this. He said, the worst thing that can happen is you guys, like, you find someone else. That's what he told me. And I that, I just think you should focus on... No, well, yeah, but he, when he told me <laughs> that, that quote... Okay. Damn, now I gotta, like, delete that quote. No, I'm playing. But he told me that when he told me, he's like, look, what happens if you, like, leave and, and you walk away and you try to better yourself? Like, the, the, the worst thing that can happen is that you're alone and eventually you find someone else. Right. This is the worst thing that can happen. Nah. And then when he told me something like that, I was like, oh, that's... I think you, you're at the age where you should be slatacious and you should go experiment and find out what you really like. Yeah. But I don't, see, that's the thing that I don't like, I don't know, like, I don't like going out too much. I like to go out, but I don't, I don't do it too much. I, I don't, don't go out anymore either. Yeah. I really don't. I'm too old for that shit. Yeah. But <laughs> no, Alvaro, go be happy. Go live your life. Fuck yeah. that. What the fuck? You're 23 years old. Go to top some, golf. Talk about some serious ass relationships. Friends will have a good impact on your well, No, I know. That's why I hang out with you guys a lot. Yeah. Yeah, but um, there's no other, there's no better way to end the podcast now. This Sadly, is the way to end it. Make sure I, this podcast was good. Oh, I'm happy. I think this, no, not even, sorry, Zach, but yeah. I, I really think this is my favorite podcast that I've been. <laughs> I've only been on three. Yeah. I've been okay. the third one. Yeah. Um, this is actually my probably my favorite one. I mean, it was a pleasure to meet you, man. Oh, I, thank I, you. I can't wait to have you on again and actually get to know your life yeah. and what you've been through. Yeah. If you've been through I, anything, I really want to thank you guys for inviting me. Um, and I really, I really do hope to come back on. And I, I'm sorry we were we on will. time crunch. Yeah, yeah. and I, I would love to. I'm, I'm here. So mm-hmm. what's up? <laughs> and, we, and we really hope we get to be on your uh, public affair yes. one day and kind of just talk about. Can I thank y'all for watching too? I of really course. do thank you. Yeah, yeah. thank yeah. you. Guys. It's thank interesting. You so I mean, every, yeah. the way you, I mean, the way you built that, pub that from. I, did you start from nothing? I'm guessing. I mean, um, I had such low expectations. Yeah, so we can talk about that. And built it up where oh, you are God. now and have all these. Yeah, famous people on to it. this mm-hmm. day, and I, I want to use this opportunity too for the people that watch the False Nine. That um, if you happen to watch the Public Affair as well, and if the community sees this, I really want to thank everybody for really riding with the Public Affair. Mm-hmm. Like 
I go to bed happy. I found my happiness. That's good. I go to bed happy as fuck by myself. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I created something. This is going to live on forever. Yep. This is on the internet. Mm-hmm. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. The public, when I'm 50 years old, if I stop it next week, I always had the public affair. Yeah. I created the public affair. And <laughs> the community really rode with it. And I'm very grateful to everybody. So yep. thank you guys so much. Shout out to those guys. Uh, you know, I also like that we're doing, and uh, I feel like a lot of people in the Waco community don't do is that like you have a podcast in Waco and I have a podcast here too um, but we're getting along I want to get along I want to yeah. be cool because I feel like a lot of people oh, he wants to get along alright no like a lot of people like <laughs> throw shade on people like here yes. I feel like that you know, a, like, like opposing businesses yeah that like, are the oh same. no yeah. I can't I'm like nah like listen we talk about that on the show yeah, like, yeah we, we do too yeah, that, it exists but I, I have high hopes for you I, I, you I know, have high hopes and I, I hope you do you. well you know? thank you I appreciate it and yeah we'll, we'll see each other at the time yeah. <laughs> you have anything else to say before we go Nothing really. I mean, yeah. for everybody watching, I uh, really hope you guys at least leave a like, yes, leave a comment right. what you guys thought about Andrew. Andrew. Um, also, did want to shout out The Public Affair. Thank you. Um, go check out his channel. Is it under just your name or just The Public and Affair? So it's on YouTube, uh, youtube.com slash The Public Affair. Um, you can literally just type in The Public Affair. Most times it's a Jessica Simpson song and then it's me. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. so yeah, um, I yeah, youtube.com slash The Public Affair. I want to, again, shout out to all my guests. I want to shout out to Alvaro and Eric. Um, I want to shout out the False Nine podcast, and mm-hmm. I can't wait to come back because there's no. We left a lot up. So, I know. Yeah, I know. We I bet it's not even touch this whole bottom. The yeah. bottom part. Yeah. I was, and I was looking forward to the bottom yeah. piece too. I know. Me that's too. pretty. I that, like the bottom. The whole so. time we're talking, I kept looking like this. Like, damn, <laughs> we're not going to get to that part already. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah okay. But yeah. whoever wants, anyone who made it to the end, I appreciate you. I love you. Uh, keep showing love to the podcast. We keep growing. We're gonna keep having people like Andrew. Yeah. Andrew's gonna be back. Um. Like, subscribe, share, uh, and just show love to this podcast. You know, that's the end of episode 130. Peace. 130. Peace out, my Pete.